my channel today i am going to be showing you guys how to make this quick and easy meatloaf recipe it's so easy to make and so good so juicy all the time every time so if you are someone who's looking for a quick recipe on how to make meatloaf stick with me okay you're going to love this recipe it's quick it's easy and it's absolutely the best but before i begin if you're new here don't forget to subscribe like the video for me if you enjoy it and let's get started before we begin here are the ingredients the measurement will be found in the info box down below so we have ketchup barbecue sauce as well as some dijon mustard to make the glaze and over here we have two beef bouillon this will add such an awesome flavor to our meatloaf you have to have some beef bouillon if you have never used it on your meatloaf try it out okay and here we have minced garlic w sauce fresh parsley and we have another dry seasoning blend i have onion powder garlic powder paprika salt and pepper and also i'm using two slices of bread to make the meatloaf nice and juicy and we have the ground beef make sure you use a ground beef that's kind of lean not too much fat and we have milk and last but not least onion and red bell pepper all right first thing we're going to do is sweat the veggies real quick i am going to add a little bit of olive oil on there i'm not sure if i show you guys the olive oil but about two tablespoons of olive oil we're going to add that to a skillet once it's nice and hot we're going to add our onion with the bell peppers now you can use red green whatever bell peppers that you have in hand now we're going to let that saute for about one to two minutes once the onions are nice and translucent we're going to basically take it off the stove all right it is done that's all you wanted to do just give them a little head start before we add them to our meatloaf there you have it now you're going to take your milk and just basically add the bread into it you want the bread to be nice and soft so once we add it to um, our meatloaf it can be nice and saucy and wet so it's not dry okay so that's what i like to do i like to make it wet before i add it to the meat so i am going to use my fingers just to break the bread make it soggy a little that's what's going to make your meatloaf nice and juicy you can use breadcrumbs if you want me personally i like to use actual bread slices okay so now once you're done you're going to take your sauteed veggies just pour it on your ground beef now i am going to add my beef bouillon when i tell you guys you have to have this beef bouillon this is the key to this recipe now if you don't have it i have a recipe where i use creole seasoning but this right here is a key for this recipe and now i'm adding my other seasoning blend that i show you guys the garlic powder onion powder all of that just add it in and as well as my minced garlic and now I'm adding some dry, well not dry, I'm adding parsley in. And there you go, we have the double U sauce. Just pour that in. And now I am adding in ketchup. Now if you want, you can add your Dijon mustard in there but I saved the Dijon mustard for my glaze. You can add a little bit to this as well. It's not gonna make or break the dish, okay? So now I'm adding in my eggs. I'm adding two eggs in. And last but not least, we're going to add the bread with the milk. And now you're going to give that a nice stir. Make sure you mix it together make sure it's well mixed together because you want all that seasoning to be all over 
the meatloaf. So use your hand, work it, work it, work it. Make sure all that seasoning, all of the flavor is well distributed all over the meat. And if you are watching for the first time, you have not subscribed, please take the time to subscribe today. You won't regret it. Please do so and let me know you knew in the comment so I can give you a nice warm welcome. As you guys noticed, I added some dry pepper flakes because I like me some spicy food. If you don't like it spicy, don't add it. If you want, you can even add some cayenne pepper in there. Okay, so now I am going to form or build my meatloaf very easy so this is the baking dish that i am going to add it in just add your meat in there no need to grease the pan because there is a lot of fat in this ground beef so no need for that just form your meatloaf it's very self-explanatory just just watch how I do it. And once you're done, you're going to make your glaze, which is pretty easy to do. So what I am going to do is take my barbecue sauce. I'll have a link below for you guys of the one that I use. And I am going to take the ketchup, just pour that in. And as well as my Dijon mustard, just pour that in as well. Once I have all of these three sauces, I am going to give them a nice stir. Now I am going to take some of the sauce, set it aside for later. So before you start adding the sauce onto your meatloaf, make sure to take some, set it aside just for, you know, cross contamination. So yeah, we're going to add in our sauce onto the meatloaf just like that very nice and easy just brush it on there and then we're going to bake it now i'm going to bake it on 350 for about 50 to 55 minutes but halfway through the baking process i am going to add the remaining i am going to add the remaining of the sauce or the glaze on there you will see so now i'm going to take it to the oven so now i am going to bake it now this is about halfway of the cooking process and look y'all it's juicy it's literally spitting out water juice <laughs> okay so now i am going to add the second layer of the glaze oh my gosh it's so juicy y'all can see and i told you guys this will um produce a lot of a lot of grease especially if you're not using a a lean type of ground beef but yeah i'll let you guys know of how many fat that I had on mine, I'm not sure. But this is it, once you're done adding your second layer of the glaze, you want to pop it back in the oven for the remaining of halfway, maybe like 25 minutes, take it out, add your glaze and put it back in for another 20 to 35 minutes. And once it is done, it should come out nice and juicy and smelling delicious, smelling, Oh, so good. All right, now it's ready to go back in the oven, y'all. Once it's done, look at that. Look at it, y'all. It looks so juicy, y'all can see the juice coming out this is my type of meatloaf okay it's always juicy always tasty every time all the time if you follow this recipe you will have the best one of the best meatloaf recipe ever because it's always come out bomb every time all the time try it out okay this was a big hit when i tell you it was a big hit it was 
a big hit so try it out let me know how you like it this is the recipe it was juicy too y'all i'm going to show you it, it was juicy super juicy so be sure to like the video for me guys if you enjoy it as usual i really appreciate all the support all the love y'all been showing y'all have been showing me i love it please 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 don't stop keep on you know showing the love that really helped me out to bring out more recipes for you guys so give the video a thumbs up for me subscribe to my channel if you are new here and let me know in the comment if you're going to try this out i'm gonna let you guys enjoy the last few clips thank you for watching and i will see you guys on the next recipe bye and look y'all look how juicy like the look how juicy it's so good hope you all try it thank you for watching i'll see you guys soon bye